My next guest has won Battle of the Axe many times as a female comedian and has been a Bulmers finalist amongst many other things. Here she is in action. <laughs> Well, here's Neve, Neve Martin. Now, hi, Neve. <laughs> Welcome to the warehouse. You're all right, right, Neve. I'm gonna. These are all these horrible little questions. Um, how, how's things anyway? Okay. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was great. <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> um, how did you decide to get into comedy? Well, I looked in the mirror and I was like, "That is hilarious. <laughs> Let's work with this." Um, no, you know when you're in school, not everyone's like you should be a comedian, whatever. But I didn't yeah. even know what that meant when you're in primary school, and then um, secondary school, you're just doing kind of you know, we bits of acting things for the crack. And then there'd be a lot of times where the teacher would be uh, a substitute. Yeah. So she'd just say, everyone just study amongst themselves and everyone would go, Miss, can you do impressions? And I'm like, hey, no one asked me. <laughs> yeah. So I had to go up and do them and then you'd get a big adrenaline rush. And then I uh, did kind of the plays and everything and just um, was just loving it on the stage, you know. Yeah. And I was either doing photography or acting in college and I thought, oh, I very little chance you'd get in acting. You do photography do. now, don't you? Yeah, I do. So yes. I went that way, yeah. So and then, way. Which is good, because then I do photography, I uh, photograph the comedians and then kind of got it oh, that that's way. Great, yeah. So like, when you know when you went up to Dublin first, me and the girls went to see a show and there was a young female doing it. I was going, Jesus, I didn't know they could do it. Yeah, yeah. We were allowed. <laughs> and then the girls like, just do it. And my friends kept pushing me to do it. And then um, the little competition on in the Battle of the Axe, you know, so the audience vote for the favourite. And then I won that and I was like, God, and then I was addicted. You won that a few times, didn't you? Oh yeah, I guess you don't have to. I didn't touch it, you said something else there. You were addicted, I was like, what? Addicted. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've won that a few times, and you were in the final of the Bulmers. The Bulmers thing, Bulmers. yeah, that was good. Like when I started first, there was a big buzz, you know, and yeah. then people would be ringing you the whole time to do gigs and that, and uh, it was great. Um, just because you're different, I suppose, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's good to be different, I suppose, but then, yeah, there's a lot of people do like to put the same types of people on and, and make them go further. So I'm very much like, like the Lady Gaga of it. Yeah, yeah. You know, everyone's <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And your writing process for like, what's, how do you, I how do you go about it? I can't, I can't sit or? down and write. Like that's, yeah. you know, when you're doing your thesis or like studying for the leaving cert, you'll wash the curtains, ring somebody in Chernobyl and ask them how they're doing. It's just anything but <laughs> yeah. what you have to do. So I'd say more so like when I go to bed and turn off the lights and I go to sleep, I go into stand up mode. So I get my phone and I, I write material in it and then put it into drafts. Oh, great stuff. So yeah, like a yeah. hundred things in, in my phone. That's a great idea, isn't it? So if anyone robs my phone, they're like, oh my God, she's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a new comedian <laughs> on stage. <laughs> and um, who's your, like, who would be your influences? Or pro you know, would you um, watch certain comedy programs? or? Uh, Mock the Week's good, you know, because okay, yeah. Frankie Boyles and all them yeah, are great. Yeah. But I love Tommy Tiernan, like, because he's wild. I love him, because they're all so different, right? I'm not saying that I'm like any of these people, but Tommy Tiernan's wild and Des Bishop's confident and everything. And yeah. Alan Carr is so likeable. And then Frankie Boyle is so offensive and hilarious. Yeah, yeah, he's great, isn't <laughs> I love it. A lot I love of people don't all, like yeah. him, but he's... he's no, he is, but he is very yeah. funny. And the people who are so kind of horrible on stage are probably the nicest people off stage. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Did they put on part? Oh, no, because I know a load of, I know a load of, you know, like, I know like Aidan Killian and uh, yeah. I know um, Paddy nice. Courtney and uh, Eric Lawler and all. They're, yeah. But they're all the same off, off stage and on yeah. stage. Like people like Jason Byrne, would he, would you think? I don't know, I wouldn't really know him very. But see, the thing is when you're so, when you're so, when you give so much energy on stage, then off stage you're like, okay, I've done that. I don't need to be jumping around now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so a lot of the people who are wild the wouldn't be as wild on stage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what's um, the worst experience you've ever had oh, on stage? Oh God! I was surprised <laughs> I wasn't shot in the face so many times. Um, <laughs> what even better? Like I did one gig in uh, Griffith College at lunchtime, and nobody knew it was on. And Griffith College, uh, it was 95 percent Chinese people. <laughs> oh no way! Is it? Yeah, and I was oh, like, Oh God, yeah, that's the one oh, down on the side. Yeah. Side and I was road. like, What the hell? And like they had to open up the bar so that I could have a glass of wine before I went stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's never a good sign, and um, like it was quite long. To, so everyone's eating their lunch. Obviously, forty minutes just to eat, and um, and then a few people were clapping, and then like for like about. 20 seconds before I got to the stage, the clapping had stopped and I was going, <laughs> 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 oh, it was awful. I did two minutes. Was and then um, stage? Well, it was only like a step and the oh, it was just... In front of the canteen sort of oh, thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus, it still haunts me. But there's loads of them. There's loads of stories of that. 
Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of these ones. Another one in the laugh, the lounge. Like I'd usually rock it and everything, and I was told it was this game on, but I didn't know that this was going to be like it, right? And three different people in the crowd were given a red card, and if they didn't like it, they could put it up. Oh, no. And when three of them put it up, gone, get off the stage. Really? Hey, and like, I'd always have done well there, and then this was up. I came up on stage, and I went, well, how's things, or whatever? And a big group of Scottish fellas were locked and went, can't understand you, love. I can't understand. <laughs> put the red card up, and they kept shouting. So oh, that's and bad, I isn't said, it? yeah, I can't understand you either, you retard, and which I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never a good start. <laughs> and then all the rest of people couldn't hear me, just put it up. And it was like, I did maybe like 20 seconds, and I, I wanted to kill myself yeah, because yeah. I came off saying there's so many people there. I was like, everyone hates me. <laughs> oh, I wanted to kill myself, but. Um, a fella came up afterwards, he says, I've seen here before, you're hilarious, that wasn't fair. And I was going, will you go around and tell everyone that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was it just three you had to go up? Three, three cards, cards, yeah. And but there, there was, could be those three. I know, and those two fellas <laughs> were locked in the <laughs> Oh, God. That, anyway. That's in, okay, movie, movie of your life, who would you? Oh, yeah, just me. Just I'd, you, I'd be right? the only one yeah. that have to play it because I don't know anyone who's <laughs> mental enough or so messed up. Like, I'd have to go to somebody in the mental home, but then... They drool more than me. That's allowed though. We yeah. can put a little bit of tissue under it. And the thing is, if I was bin. older, yeah, I know, yeah. Or just my hair, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, just me, yeah. That's, that's I'd get a, a chemical peel so like, I'd play myself when I was younger as well. Oh, that's very good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or just yeah. cut off your legs and yeah. then put them back on again when, it's, when you're yeah, older. Yeah, yeah. Or you could do it in reverse. Sorry, yeah, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> like, what about two legs? <laughs> Any childhood fears? Fears, um, I suppose the dark and really, the dark's yeah, still yeah. around, so that's kind of annoying. And I've insomnia as well, so like I can never sleep. So I'm always this, and I always think I see people and all oh, weird. It's not, don't, I don't mean I see people, <laughs> but like, dead people. you know, obviously <laughs> in the dark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just anybody could be in there and, and trying to kill you. Yeah, probably Gee. afraid of people killing you. And you have insomnia, do you? Would it be yeah. like ongoing or? Yeah, all the time. Like I'd maybe sleep. How do you deal um, with that? Yeah, when I did Edinburgh, like for the whole month, um, I had a, you know, the way where I was drinking quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you're supposed to when you're a comedian. And, uh, <laughs> and that's all I do and have a few Pringles in the morning. And then I'd never sleep because I'd be up all night and everything. And, uh, and then for the last four days, because uh, Pringles have a, um, an MSG thing, which is side oh, effect they? is twitching. So for the last oh, no four way. days, I'd twitch and I was like a mental patient. <laughs> that's uh. And uh, what does, um, like, the immediate future, what does, what does that hold um, you? <clears throat> well, I'm getting the Lewis home. Okay, so yeah. That's what I'm doing. Well, and that then is, very <laughs> <laughs> then I'm doing uh, loads in the international and uh, taping in loads around the country as well. But I want to get over and do England because um, yeah, yeah. the audiences that were in Edinburgh, they were all, all English, and they'd stop in the street and go, oh, "It's the Irish comedian." Oh yeah. As if there's only one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, um, I just I love that. And then people always say that uh, the English ones would love me, and I haven't even been to England yet. Have you not tried it? Not tried it at all yet? No, I haven't even been over there because like there's no need to go over when the morning after pill is here, you know. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not <laughs> anymore, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, I'd love to get over, but I just haven't got around to it. Like, yeah, I really yeah. want to, like, but you should. Yeah, make a whole weekend of it. That's my problem. Yeah. That's the problem. <laughs> Once you have a shower, make the most of it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. See what happens. Okay, well, Neva, that's all. That's all I have to say. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm sort of sweating a lot here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just have my hair. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like a rug. Well, Neva, thanks very much for coming no in. Problem. She was lovely, wasn't she? <laughs> right now we have Robbie Kane harassing a few people for some answers. Take it away, Robbie. How are you doing? It's Robbie on City Box, and today we're at the Dublin Eye at the Point Village where I'm going to be unleashing unknown questions on you, the people of Ireland. So, the envelope, please. Okay. What's the worst or funniest thing you've ever done while drunk? So, what's the worst or funniest thing you've ever done while drunk? I grabbed Enrique Iglesias by the balls. The singer? Yeah, yeah. No, where? No word of a lie. Celebrate the same birthday as him. I was having a chat with him one night in a, an establishment in town. A ticket or club in the city centre. Yeah, yeah, in the city centre. And uh, I thought he was somebody else. Once he turned his back, I cocked my hand up, gave him a squeeze. Probably ran down this bar about half an hour ago naked. You were in the temple bar rooms. naked, did you? Cart rooms. Oh, you you missed it about half an hour ago. I have really got a lot of like dead cut within this within this bar naked. And he was there, naked, naked, like bullet naked. Everyone after was like, yes, stripped off, naked. It was funny. So what's the worst or funniest thing you've ever done while drunk? Jesus. Have you got a half an hour? <laughs> More than that if you want, yeah. I can't say a camera be wife be watching. <laughs> the worst to the funniest thing I I, I done when I was drunk, uh, falling asleep in the in the 
Oh, I fell, fell asleep on a, on a train in uh, Munich and woke up 25 miles away from the city centre about 20 years ago. And yeah. did you get back okay to the, the real destination? I did, yeah. I got a taxi back. <laughs> you weren't robbed or anything like that, no? No, I wasn't, <laughs> no. But I was woken up by someone who was cleaning the uh, U-Band at the time. Um, dancing with no knickers on stage, but I forgot to put my knickers on. not to put my knickers on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good enough for me. <laughs> so it was, it was an accident. I didn't know I'd not put my knickers on. <laughs> Nice one for that, Robbie. <laughs> right, that's all we have for you this week, but what a show it was, huh? <laughs> if you have any requests, questions, or any general weirdness at all, email me at thewarehouse at city.ie or find me on Twitter at, at Kingbot. Uh, and this is for all the people who think I laugh too much on the show. Right, till next time. See you later, warehousers. <laughs>